Now, supremacy battles between leaders allied to President William Ruto and ODM leader Raila Odinga played out during the burial of researcher Caesar O'War Handa in Bondo constituency on Saturday, which saw pro government leaders try to defend the government, whereas those opposed to the Kenya Kwanzaa government critique it over the high cost of living. It was a battle of why the Kenya Kwanzaa government has failed Kenyans on one hand and another of showering praises to the Ruto administration during a funeral service held at Barchando Primary School Grounds, Bondo constituency, Siaya County. And although Ruto seems to re-energize in his efforts to gain footing in the Raila Odinga's Nyanza political kingdom, Odinga's allies from the region seize the opportunity to hit out at Ruto's administration over policies they claim are an overburden to Kenyans. To the government of the day, housing levy is a terrible idea. The workers of this country are suffering, they are paying housing levy, and yet some people don't even have food. Number two, because this was already declared unconstitutional, and even if you're going to force and have laws in place to make it constitutional, the law does not work in reverse. Rudishieni watu ile pesa mulikuwa mumesha kata. I just want to give a message for those who speak to William in the morning and speak to William in the night. Please ask William to listen to the people of Kenya. Please tell William. Please tell William that the people of Kenya are starving and tired of high cost of living. We must put the blame at the right place. For high government ranking officials from the region who are in attendance, the president is doing all he can to achieve his 2022 campaign pledges, calling for coexistence despite the political divide. The question that we need to have is how we can sort out the challenges facing the common manage. And on that, we should be together irrespective of our political parties of affiliation. It's between now and 2027, it should be politics of the economy so that we sort out the challenges facing the common monarchy. We have community health promoters in each and every village so that we address the challenge Manitire Ewechemag Health. It will not be right. I stand here as a representative of the government. It is unfair to say the government has done nothing on development. Because, as you can see, for instance, on health, promoters are on field working. Minister. Sentiments that were rubbed off by CIA Senator Oburu Odinga, who accused Omolo for neglecting the residents of CIA on matters security. As opposed to these politicians you see here, who speak, you speak, you speak, wameshukua ubongo mweka kwa mfuko, hawana mafikira, omole ini in charge of security. Security maturu wa siya karashi. Raymond is in charge of security, yet in Nyanza, there is insecurity issues everywhere. The police they are deployed are not performing. Sineno kata mna ugenya, inegeji. High government ranking officials from the region, particularly from Luo Nyanza, have been camping in the area, meeting various stakeholders and initiating a number of development projects. Their forays are aimed at accessing a region that has for more than two decades supported and voted for the opposition leaders, Raila Odinga, and his troops. Nyanza voted for five out of six of their governors through the ODM party. CS Owalo says he is using the opportunity to meet people from Nyanza to explain the government's bottom-up economic transformation agenda, plus the interventions both immediate and long-term geared towards Kenya's sustainable socio-economic development. Let us now move across the borders now, and Namibia's have been mourning.